Hello guys, uh, today in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, one application of uncertainty principle. So uh, let us uh, first start with one application, which is uh, ground state energy. Of harmonic oscillator. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the ground state energy of harmonic oscillator using uh, the uncertainty principle, right? So we know the total energy of a harmonic oscillator in one dimension, that is along x axis, if you want to find out, is given by P square by two MP being the momentum, M is the mass of the oscillator. So P square by two M gives you the kinetic energy plus one by two K X square or in terms of mass and omega, that is your angular frequency. You can write this way, one by two M omega square X square. You can refer to one video where we discussed uh, the simple harmonic motion, okay, and the energy of the oscillators. So in the ground state, uncertainty is momentum, okay, that is P, and the uncertainty in position, that is X, okay, are of their magnitudes. So what do you mean by this? So, so that means we can take the maximum uncertainty in the momentum, okay, can be taken to be P, okay, and the maximum uncertainty in the position can be taken to be X, right? So if you assume the maximum uncertainty to be the momentum itself and the maximum uncertainty in position is the position itself, the value of X itself, then we can use the uncertainty principle to write that the uncertainty principle Heisenberg's uncertainty principle says del X del P is greater than equal H bar by two, right here. I'll just write like, no, let's take the maximum uncertainty del X and maximum uncertainty this. Okay, the minimum value we can consider to be H bar by two, right? So just now I said del X can be taken as X and the momentum maximum uncertainty in momentum is suppose P, then we can write it to be H bar by two, right? So from here you can write P is equal to H bar by two X, right? Now, if I'll substitute in the energy value E is equal to, you got substituting the value P square by two M. So that gives us H square H bar square divided by eight M X square and half M omega square X square. K X square, you got one by two this, so this. So this is the value of energy. So we got the energy as a function of what? Function of X you can see, right? In both the terms you can see x and x here right so if you want to find out the energy of the harmonic oscillator at the ground state in the ground state we know that the energy will be minimum right so suppose i will uh, write that um, in the ground state in the ground state the position uh, let us take x is equal to a so for x is equal to a value the energy E is minimum, right? E must be minimum for X is equal to A because it's we are considering it in the ground state, right? So for this, the mathematical condition now can be written as D by DX, okay? At X is equal to A must be zero because we said E is minimum, right? So E is minimum, uh, then we can write uh, D by DX at X equals to A must be zero, right? So let us now substitute the value of E because we have already written E as a function of X here. So we can substitute that. So D by DX of H bar square divided by eight M X square plus one by two M omega square X square, right? So this value, okay, must be equal to zero, right? For X is equal to A. So X is A. Now let us take the derivative. We can rewrite it as H bar square by eight M that is constant. And one by X square, we got this minus two divided by X cube here, plus one by two M omega square X square, you got two X. So this is the thing. And then this is taken at X is equal to A for the value X is equal to A must be zero, right? 
so for the rewriting you can simplify it so we got whatever uh, you just cancel 2 to cancel your minus 2 and 8 here so you cancel and then write minus h bar square divided by we have 4 m a cube okay plus your 2 2 got cancelled so we got m omega square right and then substituting x is equal to a a so here we substitute x is equal to a as well and then further simplified we got this zero right so this can be further written as h bar square divided by 4 m a cube okay taking to the left hand right hand side just separating those we got m omega square a so this is what we got right m omega square a h bar square by 4 m a cube is equal to m omega square a then we can solve it for a okay so the next we can just uh, rearrange to find what is the value of a so a fourth by just cross multiplying and then we can rewrite it to be h bar square and this is 4 m square omega square right so that we can write a square will be h bar divided by we got 2 m omega and then we got a is equal to a is the position in the ground state x is equal to a in the ground state we have considered so this gives us h bar divided by 2 m omega right so we got the value of uh, a so that we can find out the minimum energy in the ground state so the minimum energy in the ground state we have already written in terms of x so we will write in terms of a and we will substitute the value of a that we determined over here right so h bar square divided by 8 m a square from the p square by 2 m value plus okay 1 by 2 m omega square x square it was so i will write a square and then we will substitute the value here that we determine for a so that gives us h bar square by 8 m 1 by a square we will write as 2 m omega just reciprocal of the value that we determine and square it so plus 1 by 2 m omega square and a square again that gives you h bar divided by 2 m omega right so substitute the values here for uh, the for a that we determine and then we can further write the minimum value uh, rewriting that just by simplifying so we got h bar omega by 4 plus h bar omega by 4 that gives us 1 by 2 h bar omega so in the ground state at x is equal to a right at x is equal to a the minimum energy was found to be 1 by 2 h bar omega and not zero right so as per classical physics ground state energy of a harmonic oscillator is zero right whereas as per quantum mechanics considering the heisenberg uncertainty principle we can show we can show that the minimum energy or the ground state energy is not actually zero it is one by two h bar omega okay thank you